What's up everyone? It's Frayvon from Love Lola. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a quick um, unboxing. It's going to be really quick because I only have like four items. <laughs> but I just really wanted to show them because they're all fantastic. But first, let me tell you about last week. So Teresa from over at the Bag Makers Workshop invited me to be the spotlight vendor for the latest workshop that was going on. They were making the Sandpiper Traveler bag by Lockwood and Webb. And so during their intermission, she allowed me to come on and just talk a little bit about my business, share a little bit about Love Lola, what I carry in my store, um, my YouTube tutorials. She just kind of let me have the floor. And then at the end, everyone was able to ask questions and it was just a really great time. So I want to say thank you, Teresa, for the invite. I really enjoyed talking with you and all of the other ladies and hopefully we can do it again. Okay, now let's get back to this unboxing. <laughs> um, three of the items are my hardware and one of them is fabric from Weft and Warp. I'm going to start with the Weft and Warp because I'm so excited. <laughs> I did not know this was coming. I am so excited. Oh, well, there's some more stickers. Double-sided tape. Her tape is fantastic. And this is the one-eighth of an inch tape. It is tiny. And it's so sticky. It's so good. I've ordered this before. So I can speak from experience. It is fantastic. Look at her little bags with the name. She's so fancy. Let's get into this because I almost can't breathe. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, gosh. It's like a hot pink. And this is a canvas. I love a good canvas. Ooh. This is pretty. Ugh, I'm thinking in my head of all the things. Mm, this is gorgeous. Here's the back. Y'all, I don't know if the camera is picking up how pretty this is. It is so pretty. <sighs> I'm biased because I love leopard print. <laughs> you can't go wrong with leopard print. That's the way I see it. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I love hot pink and gold. I mean, I guess I love everything in gold, but I really love reds and pinks with gold. So I just cannot wait to get something made with this. This is the, oh, y'all look. And she makes those really cool tags to put in your bags. This is so cool. Fancy. <laughs> How adorable. Love what you do and do what you love. That's dope. That is so dope. And you sew these in inside of your bag, like in your lining and stuff. This one says rise above. Adorable. Those are such great little um, 
accents to add to a custom bag. I'm sure the customer is thrilled when they see that unexpected message inside of their bag. That is super cute. Okay, this is what, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the extra thick butter in that beautiful mauve blush color and I am obsessed. I love it. It's a little bit darker than what I thought it was going to be, which is great for me. This is this is perfect. I love it. I'm always looking for a blush kind of um I don't like it when it's too pink. So this is this is gorgeous. I hope the light isn't messing up. And this is that backing that almost feels like uh it kind of feels like felt. So you truly don't have to interface this unless you really need some sort of uh, specific structure. This doesn't need to be interface. I'm going to turn off this light just to make sure it's not changing the color of this. I think that looks more true. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is so pretty. Oh my God, I think I'm going to cut it right now. I think I know what I'm going to... I have this pattern in my head I've been wanting to do. And this is, um, this was the inspiration that I needed. I think I'm going to, I mean, I don't want to waste this on a first. You know what? I'll do it first with another one and then I'll come back and do it with this one. Gorgeous. Let me show you the other one with the light. Okay. Yeah. I think you can see it better. Do you see that? Cause it's got different tones of pink. Like it almost goes into a red in some spots. And then you have that hot pink with a little bit of white giving you some pink. So, and then you've got this darker color, almost like a purple, like a deep, like a deep purple. I don't know, but it's gorgeous. Let's open it up so you can see it. Love it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I don't, uh, y'all know I don't be using prints and stuff, but I guess I'm starting to see what the hype is about. You know, when you see it in person, it's, it's fantastic. Gorgeous. Love it. This is all weft and warp. I will have a link down below to their Facebook group because sometimes their uh, website is closed down. Oh, look at this. Love it. I am a strong, resilient woman. Intelligent and courageous, I can and I will. Yes, bitch, yes. And this one says, not your damn body. Love it. Okay. Oh, there's one more. This is their, um, their symbol, their brand. Super cute. Okay, now let me go over the couple of items that I got. This first one is just a restock. I've been out for a while because what they sent me was incorrect. These are my regular uh, screw-in grommets that I had in size 10, 14, and 18. These are the 14. They sent me the wrong product last time, so I finally have these, the correct one. So these are back in stock for those who are waiting for those. And then I've got these, which I didn't know exactly what they were for, but I wanted them. I just like to look for different items and I buy it. And then I figure out later how I'm going to use it. <laughs> so they're little hooks. I think what I'm going to use them for, and I'm going to test it out for you, is um, I like to make little bitty. Um, I like to make little... Why can't I talk? Adjustable straps. <laughs> Jeez Louise. I like to make little adjustable straps for my clutches. And so I think that this would be great for a um, half an, half of an inch strap 
and then I wouldn't have to worry about putting an end piece on it or burning it or edge painting, whatever, I would be able to stick that into here. And once you have your material in there, there is a hole for two screws and you would just put the two screws in and that will secure it in. So super excited about that. Also, some of us order chains that don't come with hooks on the end. So another option would be, for example, here is one of the chains on my website. Whoops, sorry. This is a chain that's available on my website. It does come with a hook for the end, but I took the other hook off just for to show you for an example. If you did have a chain that did not come with hooks, you could stick your chain in there, and then you would put those two screws in that would go between your... So you would be able to slide your chain in there and then screw in your screws right there and that will secure the chain so it doesn't come out and then that would be your hook. That's an option. Um, I'm thinking also maybe little, like for a keychain, key like if you wanna do a little, instead of a wristlet, like a thin little piece just to connect to your keychain to hold, this would be great for that as well. So yeah, these are uh, pretty excited about it. I like them. I like them a lot. Okay, and then I've got this lock. Which is super cute and this slides in so this one is a little bit different this one slides in from the top so you push this in and that's how you lock and unlock it and it would come in from the top and lock so this was a little bit different than the norm. The way you would, oops, the way you would install this one is, this would be installed if you wanted to have, if you did not want, if you did not want a lock to show on the front of your flap, if you have maybe a, um, a panel or whatever the case may be maybe you have your logo right here or you have um, just whatever and you don't want a lock that goes through the entire flap this is what you would use so nothing would show on your the outside of your flap this piece would be installed onto the underside of your flap does that make sense so before you join them together you would get this attached to the underside of your flap so it wouldn't show from the top and then this piece would be attached on your panel right there so to shut it so to shut it you would close it like that okay and to open it you would just push it in and open it so it's a little bit different than the norm, but um, I like that because there are some times I don't want my log to show on the front of my bag. So this is an option if you're looking for something like that. Okay. Isn't she so pretty? Love this bag. Shambhala. I have a tutorial for it. If you're interested, I will link that down below. Super cute, super cute, super cute. Featuring all of my hardware. <laughs> Love my little bug. Okay. And I think that is it, y'all. I told you it was going to be super fast. Actually, I have a couple of new chains since I've shown my hardware online. So I guess I'll show that while I'm here. So this is... Uh,
This is option one of my chain. You notice that the links are a little bit longer on this option than this is option two. You see how they're a little bit smaller? So that's the difference between option one and option two. They're the same length. I think they're 47 inches. Okay, so these chains, they are metal. They've got a nice weight to them. And they are about, with the hooks, about 49 inches long. Option one is about 3.3 ounces. And option two is 4.1 ounces. My third chain is not metal, it's aluminum. It's a very lightweight. It's got a beautiful shine to it. The links are much larger as you can see. Super pretty, but lightweight. This one is about 2.5 ounces. I like to use this one when I am running material through it because it gives it that weight that I prefer for my straps. It's the perfect size for creating one of these straps. And this material is from, is, isn't this so pretty? This material is from um, Sofa Therapy. It's her new Ultra Smooth collection, and it is fantastic. I'll go ahead and put a link for this down below too, in case you wanna check it out, her Facebook page. Okay, and I think that's it, y'all. All right, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, then please give me a quick thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. All right, bye y'all, happy sewing.